Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. In today's video, I'm gonna be working on some orders and if you don't already know, I have a small business and I sell vinyl decals, wood signs, and personalized gifts. Before I got started working today, I had to of course have my coffee, clean up the kitchen a little bit, and get some dinner in the crock pot. Hope that you enjoyed today's video and don't forget to subscribe. So on this day, I needed to make some one by twos that I use for frames, and we do this with a two by six by eight board, and we cut it down to make lots of one by twos, and it definitely saves money doing it this way. And um, like I said, I use this for my framed wood signs, and my husband likes to help me with this part because our table saw is kind of messed up, so we will be getting a new one eventually, but that is what we were doing here. Ah, the planer, my favorite part. So if you don't already know what that is, this machine basically takes a thin layer off the top of your wood and makes it really smooth. It definitely makes your finish nicer and sanding much easier. Okay. 
Okay, so right here I was showing the bottom piece is one that has went through the planer and the ones on top have not. So as you can see, it looks a lot smoother than that other piece. Hello everybody. So I'm back inside after, as you can see, I did a bunch of woodworking today, got wood prepped and ready. I'm not gonna be working on wood signs today in this video. I'm going to just be doing my decals and getting those kind of packaged up and ready to be shipped. But I did, or I'm going to be doing the stenciling, just everything that I need to do computer wise and vinyl cutting, I'm doing today. Wood signs will be tomorrow. So yep, I'm on my computer. First thing I need to do is I need to get my live set up for tonight on this channel. So usually I'll go on there a little bit before and I'll just kind of fill out all the information and take a quick thumbnail and do all that. So I'm gonna do that first and then I'm gonna get my vinyl cut and designed and all that good stuff. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So let me know down in the comments, what do you guys like to do when you're working on something? Do you like silence? Do you like to watch YouTube or break it down to some music? I like to watch YouTube videos, crime documentaries, and when I'm really, really busy, I usually jam out to some music. I get a lot of questions on what materials I use to make these vinyl decals and the transfer tape that I am putting these decals is R Tape Clear Choice AT65. It is linked down below and the vinyl is just regular Oracle 651 vinyl. And yeah, that's what I pretty much use all the time. That's the only vinyl I use and the only transfer tape I use. And then I get questions also on the stencil vinyl and that is Aura Mask 813. So yep, that is what I've been using for years and years. I've Try other products, but always come back to those.
and it is from Ryobi, but I don't think they make it anymore, but I linked down in the comment, or down in the description, another one that's kind of similar that I found on Amazon, but I, I definitely recommend these because it makes cutting boxes and cutting just any kind of hard materials easy, and I think you can even cut fabric and stuff with it too. So anyways, that's what I use to cut my boxes for my larger decals. Alright guys, so that wraps it up for today's video. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And I have lots more videos coming soon, so stay tuned for that. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.